Hello students. Today I want to show you how to fill out this outline for speech, uh, for your speech that you're going to do over your informative speech. Uh, I'm going to choose the topic of emus to show you how I would fill it out uh, to this point. So what I want to show you basically is how to put in your title, how to fill out the heading, and how to fill out this information right here as you can see. It's important that you do all of that well so that when we start writing the outline you can do it with confidence. I'd like you to fill this out at home so that when we start uh, next time, you'll be able to fill out uh, the actual outline itself. This is basically the beginning of the, uh, of the outline. So let's do this together. Obviously, for your name, you would put right here, Mr. Weaver, or you put your name. Then Mr. Weaver's there, Art of Public Speaking and Drama, leave that. This is the date that it would be due. So I put 21, that should be September 2020. Does that make sense? So now look here, I would like you to give a title to this outline. So I would put outline four and then whatever your speech title is. At this point, if you don't know what your speech title is, just put the topic you're going to use. So I'm going to call mine the world of, I should capitalize world, the world of emus. Okay. So my topic is emus. So after topic, you'll see there's a colon there. That means let me show you. I'm going to put emus. General purpose. The general purpose, you have three options, to inform, to persuade, or a special occasion option, like to honor, or to commemorate, or to memorialize, or something like that, or to grieve. So in this case, I'm going to put to inform, and most of you, you're all going to put to inform, okay? Now, specific purpose. This is where you basically state your thesis, but you state it as a purpose. So in this case, I would say to inform... Uh, no, not to inform. I like to explain. To explain the benefits and uses of emus. Now, thesis is basically taking the specific purpose and you're creating it in such a way as if you could just put it right into your speech, as if you could actually say this in your speech. You wouldn't say to explain the benefits and uses of emus. In your th speech, you might say today... I am going to elaborate, make it sound fancy, on some of the more important uses and benefits of emus. Great. Okay. Now, what do I do with the preview statement then? Preview statement is basically telling the audience where they're going to go. Like, what are the major signposts along the way of understanding this specific topic? So I'm going to just decide right now. I haven't done all my research like you're going to do. But I'm going to decide on three major things I'm going to talk about with the emus to inform. Okay? So, uh, and, and you, you do it as if it's going to be in the speech. Uh, I will... Um, I will focus on the meat, oil, and leather that you can glean from the emu. Now, what did I do? I basically said, hey, here are the places where I'm going to go. I'm going to talk about the meat of the emu, I'm going to talk about the oil, and I'm going to talk about the leather, which is great. So that's how you fill out this part of your outline, and that's all I want you to do for now. Uh, the rest of it you're going to do in class because that's where a lot of the higher thinking brain power comes in. And I want to be there with you doing it. This part you can do on your own as long as you know your topic and you have a general idea of what are the main things you're going to talk about in it. Then I'll help you more with the rest of the outline. Have a wonderful time getting this done and thinking about how you're going to inform your audience.